Ciao nerds! Today I'm going to show you how I put together my Attack on Titan 3D maneuver harness that I got on Amazon for 20 bucks. Link below. It's very well made and fully functional, like it does really stay together. No cheats, no shortcuts to hold it in place, just good old straps. I was really surprised. It comes with instructions in Chinese which are really, really hard to follow, so toss those aside. Here's the lowdown on how to get it on. You're welcome. I like to put the double O tie straps on first. I secure them real tight and squeeze all that baby fat. That will help keep them up and not slowly drag towards the floor with every step. On the actual pants that I wear at cons, I also add some velcro to where the big squares sit in order to help them fight gravity. Then I go in with the leg harness. You want to wear it so that the triangle shape sits on top of your knee and make sure that the strap that comes out the top faces the outside of your leg. Slip the front strap through the holes in the tie plate like so and pull all the way up. Now grab the back strap, which should also be directed towards the outside of your leg. If not, your harness is defective, call Amazon. Or you simply put it on backwards. Now for the back strap, slip it through the tie plate over the front strap you already have there. I like to tuck in the two tie straps inside the plate holes as well, this away, for a clean finish. Here, let me show you again real fast. Now it's time for the big guns. Get your back blade out. You want to wear it so that the horizontal strap sits on your chest and all other straps dangle towards the floor. Secure your chest strap first, then move to the back. Grab the back straps and pull them through the adjustable buckle you will find under your armpit, which comes off your chest strap. So far so good, right? We can do this! Now it's time for your kidney plates. Notice, these have a longer and a shorter strap on the back side. The longer strap goes on top, and here's why. You're going to grab the strap that comes down from your chest. It's the long one that has the little adjustable buckle on it. You want to feed that through the top strap of the kidney plate on whatever side the strap is coming from and then through the bottom strap of the kidney plate. There's only one of those. Make sure the adjustable buckle stays at the end of the strap and that it is fed through the kidney plate and thus lives below it, not above it. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. Repeat for second strap through the top on its respective side and then through the bottom over the previous one. This can be a bit tedious if you don't have anyone to help you, but you'll get it. I believe in you. And there you go. See? Can be done. Now add the belt. I'm not wearing pants with belt loops in this video, but even when I do with my actual cosplay, I don't put the belt through those. It's just my preference because in the anime there are no visible belt loops over the belt and thus that's what I have chosen to recreate. So I simply slide the belt through the first big buckle to the left of my tummy, like so, and pull it in until the belt buckle sits in the middle of my torso. Then I grab this, the pentagon centerpiece. And I slide the belt through the two top straps and pull the pentagon all the way to the center of my back. If you want to use your belt loops, you would put the belt through the first loop before you get it into the big buckle. Then two loops before you use the pentagon. Then again another two after you've inserted the pentagon. Then turn around to the other side's big buckle, like I'm doing here, 
and then the last loop. Now add the tiny straps. These have a little loop at the end where you want to slide in your front leg strap. The one that comes all the way up from your knee and onto your thigh. You want to keep the bulk of the tiny strap facing upwards. And then you want the same leg strap you just pulled up to go through the pentagon. First under the diagonal slot and then up and out through the vertical slot on the opposite side. Disclaimer! This may also be a tricky step if you're doing it on your own because it's a lot of shuffling in a small space behind your back. But don't give up! Dream on! And as you're dreaming you repeat the same steps with the other leg strap. The struggle is real, guys. Until you get something like this. Now for the final and hardest maneuver of all. You want to add these rectangles to the picture. And you do that by sliding them under the belt to both sides of your hips. You'll have one opening above your belt and one below. Through the top opening, you want to slide in the last available strap coming down from your chest piece. Then grab the tiny strap we've just used and pull that through the lower opening and connect them via the adjustable buckle you should have on the upper strap. Pull snug. Then grab your back leg strap, cross it through the front to the other side and connect it to the strap coming out of your kidney plates through the adjustable buckle. There's gonna be a little bit of wiggling to do because you're adjusting two straps at the same time. Push and pull, push and pull, it will happen. Now, for the last available strap you have, Yay! The one coming out of the pentagon. You want to slide that through that same adjustable buckle we just used. Yes, I said it. Three straps in the same buckle. Please don't give up now, you're so close! And now that all those straps are nice and tight, close the rectangular flap on itself and snap it shut like a juicy buckle burrito! Finally, cross the big thick elastic at the bottom of your leg strap around and under your feet. And that's it guys! You've solved the Rubik's Cube! You're officially a cadet and ready to go slay some titans! Hit that thumb up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're ready to jump head first into a convention.